All right, so this time we're around. We're doing something different. Today we're doing a text adventure game called Gateway, which is actually from a franchise. Well, not quite a franchise, but a novel series. Uh, it was written in the, early, the late 1970s and early 1980s, and it actually has a lot of hallmarks in common with the Mass Effect series. Or an incredible amount of parallels. And it's hard to believe, it would be hard not to say that the, that Mass Effect series got inspired by Gateway. That in the, let's see, I think I remember correctly, it was in the 2500s where Gateway takes place. Let me take a quick Google. And, we got the exact year that Gateway takes place in. It doesn't say, but I know it is the exact. It's the far future, in a highly scientific society. A lot of it is based around lost alien technology that gets found. You know, gets found. Sound familiar yet? Honestly, it does not say what year it's supposed to take place in, but the in-game ones will tell you the year. Here you are basically a prospector. You go out, you try t random technology, hope you come back alive. That's not even a, not even a joke either. That's exactly the, the entire concept. You go out in a spaceship along pre-programmed flight codes and hope you come back alive. Come back alive with something good, you get a hell of a lot of money. So it's unlike Mass Effect, where they know all, know exactly how to do everything, what's what, and all that. So, easier just to boot, up, boot it up and let you look at it. I'll be taking a slow path, and I was refrain from talking while the cinematic is playing. It's about as cinematic as it can be. This is a game made in the 1990s here. And here we go, let us begin. It says Gateway 1. Oh, that's a little bit messed up. Sorry. Let me see if I can just adjust this. There we go. Much better. Sorry.
And there it is, that is the intro. As you can see, there's a lot of plot elements built early on, or rather, the basic background is all you need to know. You're a gateway prospector, you basically play roulette, Russian roulette in a way. And here, this gives me the, the restore screen because we have saved games. However, we're not going to do that. So, restore, nope. And here it is, starting off spot. You can see here, basically, Legend Air Tamic game, which means you have your visual in reference here, you got your direction, and here is the, where, okay, where's the map? Oh, what, it may not have had the map option on here. Hmm. Weird. First off, let's take our, uh, oops. Take our debit card. Actually, you can just take all and get every available item in there. Get the PV set. And it automatically does some actions for you. Wait, new messages? Okay, and this is the first message which tells you where you need to go in order to do your Hichi ship handling. You also need your datum dataman, which is inside the cabinet. New message. Okay, and here's our advisor. Tom Selridge. Oh, need to be there at, tw at 20, oh, 20 uh, hundred hours. Message. Ah, and another advisor. Okay, and that's all the new messages. You can also look at our the review sword messages, which would just be what we just saw. Take a look at the gateway account status, and we only have fifteen hundred credits. That's not gonna, that's not going to be true for very long, however. The current events of Rift Combat. Okay, here we are. This is background information on what's going on. You have oil shale fires going on. In, oh, apparently in a petrol food, which is an odd combination. The underground inferno consuming lots of petrol shale. And the background music, music cycles around. Mines, extractor furnaces. A FDA and APA present. Next article. The space lab. Ah, NASA and ESA. If okay, you remember correctly, ESA is actually an, an actual, a, a real life organization that is but meant, meant to be the European version of NASA. That just means European Space Agency. If I remember correctly, ESA does exist in real life. It's been a while since I looked into it. NASA reports the main L5 lab. Okay. So this is basically a lab accident going bad, really, really badly. Apparently this is off because of a, an intoxicated shuttle pilot. Don't dr drink and fly. The shuttle was destroyed, pilot was rescued. Ooh. Well, the pilot was not harmed in a crash, but somehow got a broken jaw during rescue event. I can't imagine how that happened. Okay, and he's being put back to Earth for, for trial. Whoops. Okay, so a new currency in the United States. No, they, so here, interesting, here they're doing an inflation experiment. Basically, cha basically hard fixing a value 
to what it was in 1995. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Article. Nuclear blast kills. Oh, ow! In Burkina Faso. Used to remember, I remember correctly, Burkina is somewhere in the India region. Let me look it up. I don't remember where that was at. Oh, wow, it's completely off. It's been a long time since I looked up Burkina, but that is in West Africa. Must be confusing with something else that sounds similar in the India region. So, 50,000 people killed by by an explosion, and it was from a nuclear device. Whoops. The car up front. Oh, of course, if I had bought to read an article, I would have seen it was in West Africa. Joke's on me! <laughs> And this is a lot of you know, nuclear terrorism is still a thing in Gateway. Okay, here we are looking at another article. Micro machines crippling a synth oil refinery. Oh, Exxon still exists. That about a bitch. Tiny device to replicate. So they had to use micro radiation to kill the, the micro machines. Okay. They killed. They erased their memories. Huh? Ah, the trick. Next article. Gateway Corporation. All right. Hmm. A toaster oven with no door. Interesting. Uh, sometimes, if you look at, read some of these articles, you can actually see some foreshadowing for stuff you will see. Like this, like, on, like this particular item here, you actually use it. If I remember correctly, this is an item you used in order to complete the game. So, you can go to the muse museum on Level Dog, which we will be doing shortly. Next item, ah! Maglev Train Crash. The lost containment support fields plowed to a wall. Computer malfunction. Guys, 3,000 miles per hour. Wow. Just wow. 25,000 tons. And light casualty. Alright, so let's see if there's another new article. Oh, and here it is. Something from Brazil. Bandaries were these sizes apart from 20,000. Oh, okay. So this is just redrawing boundaries. So the Amazon basin is rapidly losing species. And they're talking about DNA frozen storage. Here's a new art article. Oh, here we go. It's like it's talking about you know, a fictional Star Trek. <laughs> Star Trek Triple X! Oh, the jokes! I don't know. <laughs> I just can't even. I, I got, I'm gonna avoid making a joke here. It'd just be fucking rude. Okay, and here's another article. Commodity prices. Okay, stock prices here. Talking about an asteroid reclamation project. Years away from producing anything. Okay. You can only produce nickel and iron right now. And there's a global recession going on and it's going to get made worse by these shortages. So the shortages are bauxite, gold, titanium, platinum, and other strategic, strategic ores and minerals. Okay. So it sounds like there's some financial crisis going on despite the fact that we have gateway prospecting going on. Okay, and the Mormon, oh, Mormon dead bugs inside a, let's see, malignant <clears throat> hocknado virus infecting 60, 67 data storage systems in, inside the Mormon church's data court, it's known as the mountain. 
Let's see, the virus has destroyed or, or altered genealogical records of more than 20,000 church members between 1995 and 2007. Wow. So apparently, the church was keeping gene genealogical records. Hmm. Wonder why would they do that? So apparently, it's a virus that got past over a hundred million dollars worth of security. State, federal authorities are investigating, including the FBI. Oh, someone fucked up big time. Oh, Great Plague in outbreak. So the Great Plague has resurfaced in Calcutta. Two hundred million inhabitants there in the are in kind of crapping themselves. Bioengineered disease, five hundred cases. Interesting. So this is actually a plague that was used as a bioweapon by Iraqi genetic engineers used during the seventh Iran Iraq War in twenty eighty four. Boy, the dead What did real life turn out differently on that one? Virus mutated out of control and thirty countries are infected by it. Interesting. No known cure. Yikes. Ah, oh. okay, and Chernobyl has finally been reclaimed. It started, yeah, the, it, this is based off the real-life Chernobyl incident. Meltdown in 1986. Oh. Well, not gonna lie, history has been, uh, very interesting here. Because, according to this, the worst nuclear power disaster was the... Chernobyl until the French explosion of Mirf et Moselle. I, I cannot speak that. I cannot pronounce that properly. But that is apparently the worst one until. Well, uh, rather, Chernobyl was the worst one until that Fr French explosion. But in real life, Fukushima becomes worse. If I remember correctly, Fukushima was considered worse than Chernobyl now. Okay, and apparently here's some internal strife with. The Gateway Corporation. Okay, so Gateway Prospectors are suing Gateway for mismanagement, violation of charter, and unnecessary cruelty. So apparently there's an Orion program and that Gateway Corporation is, is, is withholding data regarding it. Interesting. So, a lot of this is basically saying Gateway's holding back information that could save Prospector lives, and so the Prospectors lower on the ladder are pissed off about it. Now, the Orion program is something we will see later on. So it does exist. Like I said, a lot of, these, a lot of the messages and, and news bulletins are, in fact, foreshadowing. So if you pay attention to it, you'll learn a lot more than just the canon, or rather the background story. Corporation, well, it's kind of hard. Hmm. Oh, and here we have an, an earthquake. Always a bad time when an earthquake kicks off. 7.0 on a Richter, Richter scale. San Francisco, Oakland, Metroplex. Hmm. A lot of bad things happen there. Alright, so, and that's the last article. You would not be able to click next if you see this, if you only see these two options. So, let's go back to the main menu. Oh, bulletin boards and classified. Those are always fun. Uh, pretty much like a psychic friends network here. Pretty much like a last will corporation here. Ah. Ah, poor guys. Homesick. So here we have a Chinese restaurant ad. Time for relaxing and unwinding. Yeah, hard. $15 for egg roll? 
Who the fuck are they trying to kid? Fifty-seven dollars for this is how crazy prices are in the in the, in the future depicted by the gateway. And it's got bad English. Yikes. Well, I mean, honestly, there it's authentic for somebody who has, has does not have a really good grasp of English. And here's another interesting one. So basically, someone's been dicking around too much with stuff. So, let's look at this again. The hydroponics lab known as the Central Park, okay. So basically someone keeps messing around with the manual shutoff. And it, it could mess with the food and air supply, which is a very bad thing. Okay. Well then. I'm not even sure how to react to that. <laughs> Button. So, hand car, hand card mahogany kichi. So, 500 bucks per model. Interesting. Oh, now here's something interesting. This is an interesting implication. So, for it, you got the L5 Space Lab, which we saw in the news built, and the 20th Century Spacecraft, which is, you know, 19 years ago. We got the ESA, European Space Agency, NASA, National Aeronautics and Space Administration. But it implies that the Soviets are still around, or at least, talking about the, the Soviet uh, spacecraft from back in the 1950s and 60s when, when the space race was on. You got the JSA, which is the Japanese version of NASA. And others, so probably talk about like, so probably talk about like it, the <clears throat> Chinese uh, agency. Okay, so approve another classify, uh, another ad, and you look for somebody, you know, a friend and all that. Hmm. Interesting. Catalog, okay. And here, here it is, another Orion plot hook. Tells you when the Orion briefings are going on. So that's some what you need to know. Okay, so this looks like a German ad. I think that's German. Could could be a variant of it. Oh no, timeshare! A West African timeshare. Hey, is it? Hey, is it Nigeria in West Africa? I have to look that one up. As long as I thought about it, I'm pretty sure. Let me look. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. There's a fucking Nigerian ad. Ah! And another ad for basically, you know, let's free your know, cheap electronics. Drive oh no, hey, a dating service ad. Interesting. So, this is about the maintenance section, and basically, there, there are people thinking there are rats in their ventilation system, but there are not. They're using maintenance robots. Okay, you can place the call, but you don't need to do that just yet, so we exit out. Cabinet. Whoop, no, there's a drawer, isn't it? Yes, drawer. Take book. Read it.
So basically, you got a prank played on you by your advisor. Okay, forgive him a joke. Uh, corporation extraction proctors. New data. Yeah, and there it is. See? Alright, so first off, we're gonna get out. Move east. Oh, I had just map. Okay, sorry. Pretty sure it's supposed to be. Um, that's what's confusing me. I remember there was a map option. It may have not existed this early on. I know other legend entertainment games will have a little mini map. Hmm. Check your status. The Tori. There's also keyboard sh shortcuts you can use for it. Exit out. We left the Brax and now we're in Hitchi Town. Here we have our we can if you take look at take a look at the description, it tells you which way is which. Northwest is, is where we need to go, and we got the the bar you can see on uh, east and south is where the mu museum is. For now, let's go corporation office. And here we are in the lobby. But okay, let's give the book to receptionist. Okay, so this looks pretty much like an iPad, I bet. Okay, so now we have information. Oh, there's a lot here. Most of this is basically, you know, newbie friendly, so we'll look at it anyway. Yeah, see? As you can tell here, this, there is a lot of... This, but Gateway is honestly basically the same thing as the Citadel in Mass Effect. Large alien artifact. Found it built a long time ago by a vanished race. See, it sounds familiar, doesn't it? So, FTL travel is done by via gateway. Gateway Corporation. <laughs> Corporation manages gateway and everything. Tens of thousands of people worldwide. Wow, 3.7 trillion dollars. So this is basically the, the rundown of what it means to be a gateway prospect. More powers. Yep, Brazil, Japan, United States, of Euro uh, America, and the United States of Europe. Oh boy, didn't see that one coming. So the, the four powers protect, provide protection for gateway to a, a multinational organization. Civilian, Japanese, European, and military units. So, don't screw with them. And, and there's actually interplanetary cruisers up here. Got the uh, USS Maya Guez. Maya Guez. I, I can't that. I think it's Maya Guez or Maya Keys. Hmm. I think it's Maya Guez. Get the. The RB. I'm not. I don't know the uh, the ship designations for the Brazilian Navy. So, just say Brazilian ship Brasilia at the Avengers Sun in the Courier. Okay, getting around dog, which is the one we're on now. Basically, it tells you all you know, the directions. We are, we've already seen these from the talking just a few minutes ago. Okay, and this is basically saying you know, unless you have your, your flight credentials, you can't get on the ship.
PV comp set time. Yeah, so we've already gone through that. So you don't need to do it again. As what well, here's your proctor. Yep. It's good saying what you need to do. Or, 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 or are we gonna go through it? In the VR terminal. Basically, it tells you all about the VR system in Gateway. Gateway Enterprises assumes no responsibility for mental or emotional trauma. I can't help but wonder if that's like a warning sign. If I only know. A lot of this is basically fluff that you don't really need to know in order to play the game. Nothing I can't say in five minutes or less. A lot of this, you know, you'll see it otherwise, but. Honestly, I'll go to show this for the VOD, so... So the corporation has developed a way to translate some of the Hichi speech. And now considering the, the way the story is set up, it is impossible to get bad coordinates in the sense that you will not go to a coordinate that will kill you. Well, you will miss, technically speaking, you will not get coordinates that will you know, insta kill you, but you can die while on a mission. A lot of this is basically telling you. And here's the corporation record. Station arrival date. We arrived on May 17, 2102. So that is when it takes place in the 2100s. So turn it off and let's keep moving. Next up, we are. Let's see what time is it? It's 1200, 1242 uh, station time. So what we're going to do is actually use a little bit of setup. Actually, yeah, we may need to go straight to the Blue Hell Bar. Now, the Z, see, typing in Z was the same thing as waiting. And here, here we go. So, as you might notice, time, everything in the game is measured by time. One action takes one minute. Some Legend Entertainment games will actually take a five minutes per time uh, skip. Rather, one action in some in certain Legend games will be actually be five minutes game time. Here it is one minute game time, so no matter what, you will always take one minute to do an action. It can be strategic. Now, inter now, interestingly enough, there is no act there is no time limit except for certain parts of the game. True of other Legend Entertainment games, there is generally no time limit, time limit in order to complete the, the mission objectives for the game. However, there are certain segments where you are on a time limit. Let's buy him a drink. Oh, uh, apparently he already ordered some. I was not paying attention. Let me just wait. Yeah, see, there we go. So we wait and let him talk and talk. Yeah, I remember there's a way to get better. Hmm. Oops, wrong one. There we go. That's what I wanted. So now we have a better. If we are able to read the text better, wow! Look at getting a picture. As you can see, animated. So we wait and let him talk. And the robotic bartender is left. So basically, we just keep waiting and waiting and let him talk and talk. It basically tells you where everything's at. Since we played this game before, it'd be 
No, he's, it's no, no sweat for us. We know where we need to go. So basically, we bought him a drink. We're, we're basically kissing his ass. And again, we just gotta keep waiting and let him talk and talk. Here it is, he's talking about the Suicide Squad, which is where, where we're at right now, and the Green Badges, which is the Orion program. So here it is, this is basically what <clears throat> What I was talking about earlier, you want the game will not force you into a, a, a to a, a really bad situation. You cannot die and go into a mission, you die on the mission. Meaning you will not you will not be put next to you. Like here, he's talking about black hole and John Star. You will not. Yeah. He's talking about the Orion Program basically, basically saying, you know, where the good co course codes are. Go wait again. Here we're talking about Terry Nielsen. So 2,200 hours. See if we can buy him another drink. Give him, do give him just fucking do shit faced. So here's another plot hook. The Hichi have left something around here. So they are searching for something. I wonder what it could be. So now we got some kind of you know hero here. Let's buy him a drink. <laughs> he thinks I sp paid for this. Oh, that's good. Oh, you found some interesting discs. Hmm. And he fought his way through cockroaches, huh? Has he been? Was he been to Kuntatu or something? And here he is complaining about you know getting screwed over. Okay, so now we're gonna play a game. Yeah, Mercury. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so old Earth trivia. Hmm. History and geography. So a lot of these is basically you gotta figure out what kind of a uh, kind of comedy. So historic blunders. After his election as president of the United States in 1996, he accidentally launched a nuclear strike. Vaporizing 65 natives, 40 tourists, 3 sailboats, and a small cruise ship. Oh, God. Now, in context, this is interesting. So, you got George Bush, who was not... He did not get re-elected in 1992. And they keep some of... Uh, 
actual in real life history here. Albert, you know, Al Gore was Clinton's running mate in '92. Hmm. He didn't seek a re-election, and he didn't seek election until the 2000 election. That rule soon out. You got Mario Cuomo, and you got Dan Forth Quay, who, who, who was portrayed in the, in the media as a, as an idiot. Ha! World capital of India. Hmm. So let's see. Yeah, Calcutta, New D New Delhi, hmm, Madras and Bangalore. Wonder, capital in. Incorrectly, it was New Delhi. New Delhi. Yep, there you go. And okay, so the Soviet Union is gone in Gateway. Weapons too terrible to use. That tactical nuclear weapons is just turned, you know. Historical watershed. So we got Vietnam, which is before Soviet Union broke up. Got the invasion of Kuwait, which happened afterward. Very so, correctly, it happened almost a little bit afterwards. War of the Orchid between Chile and Argentina, and second Iran Iraq War. Hmm. But very correctly, the, the Iran, there was a second Iran Iraq war, but not just like this. So, state capital, uh, Southern South, Southern California, in Northern California, Sacramento. Okay, so if it's Southern California, it'd be San Diego. African People's Republic before the first elected black government changed in. Well, me correct is this actually something that happened in real life, wasn't it? Hmm. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay, I can see why, because there was a lot of black presidents and such before the end of the 20th century. Definitely before the 90s, the 90s ended. But this is actually alternate history, okay. Oh, huh. That was Mali. Hmm. Weird. The nationalism co Oh, God. <laughs> okay, this is actually an easy... Okay. This is actually easy if you're familiar with Canadian culture. Because this is an old recurring thing about why... Yeah, why doesn't Quebec just fucking leave? See, this is something if you're familiar with Canadian culture. Alright, so... Environmental history. Hmm. North American ozone hole appeared four years after predicted... Oh, so this is interesting because this might actually reflect real life. So, let's see, campaign... I'm going to say 1996 because, you know... I remember this, is, this stuff kind of thing was ratcheting up really big time in the 90s. Yep. Oh, ooh. This is based off real life, which was the Yeltsin. What? That can't be right. Hmm, I feel like that's wrong because I remember Yeltsin was the last one before... Yeah, well, maybe his... his my Soviet history is kind of murky. Sometimes. Dinosaurs Part 2. <laughs> so, let's talk about a reason the world becoming important during the... In 1945 and 2020, then because they ran out of oil. This is basically talking about oil. So, Middle East. Yep, see. Oh, 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 I noticed. This is based off the, the Falklands War. 8 out of 10. And uh, we won, sweet. 
So now we have a shiny medallion. Yay! Okay, so now we have that done. And we need to figure out what to do with it. Hmm, now, now don't we? All right. We could go meet Harry. You know, actually, we will go and wait. Harry. Sit and wait until 20, 20, 2200 hours. Oh, hang on, I gotta pull this up. Okay, I can see it now. Oh, and here we go. Here, here is our gateway rep. So she asks if we know, she knows us, and okay, our face, our file. Hey, yep, new fish. Whoops. Well, she's getting sloshed. And here we go, she's basically learning background information about the Orion program. Oh, and apparently she has... He sponsored 25 prospectors out of 300. So let's take a look here. 25... Holy shit, less than 10... Less than 10%. That's <laughs> bad odds. Especially considering how frequently these guys die. So now she tells us what we need to get in order to get the Ryan program. Two completed missions and a unique discovery. Well, that's no problem. Now we have our direct PV number. Buy her a drink. At least we can do. Ah. Get it. She buys her own. Alright, no problem. So, let's take... Let's wander around. Okay, so we're gonna go to the museum. And here we are at the museum. So on the stand we have a Siahishi device as well as the pedestal on the tuning fork. The tuning fork is actually very interesting because of how it works. You can bang it and increase a very lar la large, large, loud noise that just irritates the hell out of people. So now we're, we're going to dig around with the medallion. Uh, Newbar's commentary about it being in the, from industrial is actually a really big clue. And here we quickly get take this. And here it is. We just faked them out completely. Pretty sure we just poured it in Indiana Jones. Whoops, wrong one.
As you can tell, when you when you go back to an area you've already visited, you will not see the description unless you look again. Now here we are in Central Park. So here we are. We're kind of pranking on a prank, so it's okay. <laughs> and here we are, we're putting in to make the point the um planter tray. <sighs> so Well here we are talking about somebody who ha who showed up in the past, Rolf Becker. Hmm. Apparently, he scored on every single mission and made a lot of money. Interesting, he found he used his rockets in order to blast a hole in the ice and found a supply dump. Oh, in an astronom uh, astronomical event, a planet with a moon being ripped apart by gravitation. He made a half a million dollars off that. And he made he married the daughter of a corporation executive. Wow. This dude is lucky. Interesting. And here it is. We will need the screwdriver and the maintenance key later. And here there's more foreshadowing. Okay, so he took the screwdriver, but we had to maintenance key. What we need. Take my inventory. Hmm. Ah, shame there's nothing interesting about the badge. Let's exit out. And we go up. Aha, interesting. So this is the top level. We will need to crate later. Nothing, honestly, nothing else interesting. So let's just keep going down. Down again. European Space Navy, okay. Here is the armory. So we have guns, grenades, lasers, rocket launchers. What do we need rocket launchers for here? Take the gun. Okay, let's just unlock this. Yeah, there we go. Now we wait. Oh, uh, it, it, it can be a little touchy on what you... Try it this way. There it is. Now we exit out. Can we wait? Look at that. 
got ourselves a gun. Okay, so let's keep moving around. Need to go back to the receptionist. Oh, shit, wrong way. You know, use the undo button in order to go to re take back an action. It's really useful when you make wrong moves like that. Back to the corporation. Oh, we already had. Whoops. Here it is talking about Rolf Becker. So there is a one million reward for information about him. Let's do that again. Use the G button in order to repeat an action. Okay, it just repeats it over and over, sadly. Hmm. Okay, so now we need to go to our ship class. Crap, I kind of forgot the time. Oops. So, we need to wait. Honestly, we should probably go get some sleep. Let's head back to the barracks. Oh, we'll have to wait a bit. There we go, sleep. Take all again. We need to go to room T20. Oop, this is T52. Well, wrong way. And here we go, wait. What time was it supposed to be? Ah, right, 1500. Here we are, our first tutorial. tutorial well, in universe tutorial. Hector Gomez is our instructor. So apparently these are easier than operating a car. Hmm. Hear them say, oh, an autopilot, cool. Apparently it's so boring our eyes glaze over. Interesting. So there are six course codes inside each one. We were just letting the auto play. And we're finally back to the game. So after that, we basically got 
Yeah, you know, a nice little walkthrough on basically what we're supposed to do. Take it, go to a ship course, do that, and then head on down to the hangar. So let's do this. Go on and exit out. Here's the hangar. Oh, we have to wait an entire day for it to come up. Okay. Honestly, we probably should have just gone straight away to do it instead of, you know, going to the Blue Hell Bar. Because if we did that, we would have had to waste so much time. It, it's alright. So we'll just wait around at our home. We begin. Oh, again, the game could be real kind of, you know, meta joking on you. But it used to be, I'm pretty sure it should be possible to get the, the in universe time. Let's see. Areas, that's the time. No, it, it actually tracks your computer's dating time, which is something I did not actually know. Interesting! There's that. Head on out. So here we are at our ship. Head on up. Fair pit on a suit. And here we are. Okay, so. We have a vent. Take a look at the first one. We have six color course codes to mess with. We are taken off. And we found a nice little nebula. And we got Mission Bango and 25 points. Should already be wearing. Yep, there it is. And now we can get up again. So a lot of this is a little bit of repetition. You gotta go. You gotta do this. And okay, so basically, <clears throat> what you do is you go take it, select the code, do this, come back. Some will allow you to land and do a mission. Otherwise, you're just basically doing looking this over and over. So we'll just skip this. It's just the same thing over and over. Oh, wow, that is pretty. What is this? A bright, a 
a B class star. Hmm. So it looks like a, a, a interplanetary crash. We'll just come back again. And we're back on Gateway. Up oh, and it. Fragment now we're going to number three. Let's see if we can skip this. Yep, here we go. Wow, we are outside the Milky Way. That's awesome. Science is kind of cool sometimes, honestly. Okay, so we went to Andromeda. Here we have a little picture, so this is Sigma Diane 7. You have a little picture like that, means you can land. Here we are in outer space, looking for, just basically wandering around, trying to find out how to get everywhere. Let's take a look southwest. Okay, it pretty much just puts us back to where we, where we were just a few minutes ago. Oh, hey, look at that, we're at the base of a cliff now. Hey, we can't go up again. Hey, sweet. I wonder if I can push the boulder. Look at that. It's been a long time since I played the first gateway, so going off <laughs> trying to figure out what's remember with what's what. And our score went up. So now we can move to the left. Oh not why well, why did I say left? I meant right, sorry. Look at that. Whoa. Freaky. So. The trick here is actually go the opposite direction. Rather, if it appears in one direction, you do not actually go that way. The northeast means you go east. Look at that. What is an ovoid? I don't think I've heard that term before. We got ourselves a unique, unique find. Okay, let's out. Right way up there. Here's the blast zone. We are out of here. Turn. Orbit. And return.
And we got 25,000 for finding the Hichi artifact. Sweet. Down again. So we went to day on seven, now we're going to number five. Okay, and we found a, let's see, it was like a red giant. Yep, red giant. Oh, a dying star inside a dead system. Just imagine that can be Earth someday, billions of years from here, from now. Now we have our final destination. Holy shit, we went near a black hole. Now that we've done this, we can call call Terry. Oops, that's not what. Go. We got her number, though. Okay, sixty four zero seven three. Hey, yep, there it is. All right, now we got our badge. Let's get the hell out of here. Wait and let her talk. So T fifty two a hundred hours. Okay, I already have it good. So we'll just chill out here until it's bedtime. Wait and wait. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Hmm. Let's see. Here we go again. Kind of brain farting, aren't I? Feel confusing sometimes about a map. Yep, here it is. This right, right level. It's been so long since I played the first one. I, I tend to forget things. Yeah, we just go and wait.
So we got the chief of the exploration program, or the deputy chief. You know, just let it run. So here it is, basically, basically it's background information about how the Orion Special Exploration Initiative works. Now, now we just wait for it to finish up. Level Alpha 3, I guess it's better than Alpha 2, but not quite Alpha 5. <laughs> So apparently they tried to isolate a guidance system from the drive unit, so that was a <laughs> incredibly bad idea. And our score has gone up again. Sweet. Now that we have, now we've got our <clears throat> Orion codes, we're basically looking at much more lucrative things. Now we leave. Wait, why did I... Oh, hang him. Not. Oh, him being really stupid, aren't you? So now we're going up. Sit and take a look at our new codes. Yeah, oh, interesting. We have one. What is this? It's LF. Okay, LF four. Futuristic graphics. Hmm. Can we exit out? Wear our suit. Oops.
and hatch. Hmm. I think it okay, yeah. Like a kind of a hot spring, so we'll leave. Holy shit, aliens! You're supposed to find a salamander somewhere around here. Ah. Now we wait for them to building. Okay, the, the uh, Mutzer is still there. We need to wait. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what the trigger was. Okay, and he's still there. Hmm. Okay, I think this means he's gone. Yep. Okay, so we need to wait. Up. Can we leave? Thank you, little buddy. So basically, we could, we we skipped a cutscene where we could have seen the aliens messing around with it. So this is kind of a, you know, <laughs> better gaming. So this is basically how well you understand Hichi uh, uh, numbering. We're using a guy for this because I really don't remember most of this crap. Oh, this is trial and error, honestly. And inside we go. Okay, so we found a prayer fan. A lot of this is basically puzzles. We'll get a little extra money for that cylinder. Oh, whoop. Well, we went back to the lake shore. So we're going to go over here now. Back to the ship and get out. Up oh, and orbit. Turn. And we've got one point five million dollars for that. And here we are, part two, other world. Okay, and we got new PV messages. Oh, 
Oh! Curious. We gotta go to the Pedro Pedro Pedroza Lounge. That's in the casino bar. Look at the current events. Ah, new events! Talking about a, uh, okay, looks like a uh, video star. Oh, food rights. Huh. Hopefully, they don't, they, hopefully these food rights don't have a guy, an Austrian guy involved. Bad things tend to happen. That's a Running Man reference, by the way. Don't get any ideas. Okay, an, up, uh, an uplink tower blown up. The Sarlin National Army. Okay, this is Western Germany. Oh, interesting. IBM is still around in the 2100s and they found a new way to do Hitchi Metal. Billions of dollars are saved. Wow, order of magnitude. Leonard Kriegeski. A okay, Grenoble movement. Hmm. Fish and pr fish production. Okay, that's all the new ones. The new... Ah! Hey, preview... Please... Okay, you have... Wait. Hmm. Oh, Cola Wars. Interesting. Ten dollars for a can of Coke? Iridian. I wonder if that's some kind of in-the-universe thing. Another, another Miss Cleo type ad? Hmm. Okay, something in Spanish. Okay, yep. That's all the new ones. Oh, we need the membership pin, which we know where to go. Because the tech up there has one. Whoop. Talk to him. Holy shit. Basically, he's explaining how the virtual realities are. And there's a lot of clues that you need to know for later on. So let's just let him talk. Alright, so, as, it, as you can see here, it keeps telling you over and over what's what.
and basically he tells you how to get things done. So let's do it. So basically, we get to the, the drink. The bartender is sloshed. I wonder if we can make a holy bartender. Nah, wrong, wrong time. So we kind of broke the program. Now we have to pin. And now we got off the couch. Yep. Get access inside. So the president's personal aid. Interesting. Okay, and apparently we found something really, really big. So let's let him talk. Whoa! Five million per mission and 25 extra. Nice! So basically, man in black shit. All right, cool. Let's head on over. Oh, and there we go. Aha! So, he she devices actually a, no, a computer with a crystalline matrix for information. So it's fans are memory storage unit. Okay, the savant. Whoa, we lot we learned the Kichi language. So this is a lot like the protein beacon in Mass Effect. And they are evading the assassins, which are basically the Reapers. So here's how they roll. Once they find a certain level of radiation and technology, they come through and just tear everything apart. Just like the Reapers. <laughs> they run.
<laughs> it's a long cutscene here, so be basically quiet. Okay, so now we have a demonstration. Holy shit. So basically, murders. So we cannot bring anything back from the missions. Hmm. <laughs> okay, that's just funny. You're all gonna be very sorry if you fail. Ah! Alright, so let's get rolling. We have four locations to go to. Do them in order. Let's see, we are at Delta Orege, Oregai. Wait, is it Orege or Oregai? I think it's Orege. So let's just say Delta Orege. Okay, number six, plant six. Oh! This looks like kind of like a war zone, honestly. Whoops. And as you can tell, I'm using a uh, <laughs> walkthrough because I really do not remember a damn thing about this game other than some key points. Okay, so we need to mess around here. Whoops. Okay. Oh, I need to take these, don't I?
Hmm. Now, I want to know what this area is about. Ah, see, it's really touchy on what it is. So now we have a color puzzle. Oh, I do not like puzzles. That's a... Uh... There we go. and CGR graphics. <laughs> cool. Okay, so now we get the hell out of here. And we go to destination, destination number two. Okay, now we've arrived at our destination. Land. Okay, so we are... Pursuit. Most likely it's a hostile area. And my gun. Just in case.
Hmm. Wait. Crap, I did not see what point we're at. Okay, I think we are on Kaduna 3. Oops, undo. Get out of here. Okay, so Parasaur. Hmm. That's a big fucking spider. Holy fuck! Okay. Up as with game over screen. Okay. Oops. So basically, describing a pterosaur. In a f into a fight with Oops and do I better get back. Those shoots are kind of a time limit. If you do not move quickly, you will die. As you can see from that previous game over. Don't think we've gotten ourselves into an unwinnable situation. Ah. Oh, look at that. There we go. And we got into a fight with whatever the hell is running around down there. Wow. <clears throat> so the octopus is dead. snake hmm okay so there's supposed to be some kind of I'm supposed to get oh I messed up I need to go all the way back to the ship there's supposed to be something I was supposed to get but I did not get it whoops Ah, there we go. Oh, crap. I realized there was a worm on me. Wait, hoisted the rat? How big is this rat? Okay. Holy shit.
Hmm. Well, that thing is just fucking huge. So, let's kill it. <laughs> oh my god, that, that, you, you can tell someone had way too much fun writing that one. And another one. Should have skipped that because we've seen it before. Alright, let's retreat. So we have two shield generators up and running. Alright, let's return. So that was Kaduna 3. We are at Side Dorma 5. Breathable atmosphere, cool. Be out there. It's like a really nice area. Very aesthetically. Holy shit. Fucking yeah. Holy shit! It's fucking Willump! <laughs> hmm, so we got the wrong size stone for that. On a small one. Okay, so we already filled the ball. Good. So, basically, cutscene.
There he is again, Willem! Where the fuck is Nunu then? Hmm. Again? Damn. Do. Okay, so I need to go back and get the bow again. Oh wait, I think something may have gone wrong. Oh boy. I remember correctly, they did not design it where you can not get into it. Okay, so. Problem. Ah, maybe I. Maybe customized. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Oh, hey! So it's basically telling you which way you need to go. So let's take a look again. I think it may actually spawn the ball. Nope. That's just plain weird. Take a look around. Kinda strange on her. I may have actually screwed this up. Fire air, fire loading a safe game. Oh, there is a map mode for this one. Ah, that is. Yes, there he is. Oh, whatever. We gotta wait for him to go through. counts here. Oh, man. Beast is really badass, isn't he? Okay, let's sweep again and see if we can finish this up. Here we go. Same, about the same thing as before. I think it, yeah, okay, it looks like the exact same cutscene as before.
go through. Quickly move. What? Oh no. I think this may be actually bugged. Ah! And I ran right into him again. I don't have the bowl anymore. But oh, that stinks. Wait, okay, let's see. I may have gotten myself into a position where I cannot finish this game. Hmm. Unless I get I get the ball back. See, but I think I've just replaced the same cutscenes before. Yes, yeah, same thing over and over. Damn, oh man. It always happens. All right, all right, come on. So we got quickly. What? Hey, right. let's look and do. Okay, so let's try to go back. Maybe a bad looping here. Do. Hmm. Okay, that was a bad call. Do wait. I just okay. So I think I may have actually screwed this up really badly. Alright, I think this is actually an unwinnable situation. Because uh, it's very rare that this actually happens. Let's see if actually. May have actually screwed this up really badly. Hmm. Unless I can find a bowl, which is probably gone. Because I did not do what I needed to do correctly. But if you mess up the sequence, it can completely ruin the game.
So, without the ball, you cannot actually do this. So let me just look at my save games real quick. I had to save that for a moment. Oh, crap. Apparently, did not have any specific one. Checking this old save and it doesn't look like Alright, I think I pretty much had to skip a lot of this. So sleep. Unfortunately, we had to skip a lot. Of, we skipped two more shield generators, as well as what come next, comes next because I made critical error with the game. Now we read the PV set. Okay, and here we are. We are uh, skipped a lot of this. So we have not actually gone back to Gateway. So, we actually met a virtual personality in between this and what we will have seen in due time. So the assassin does not realize we've actually got a virus with us. Now we just gotta find Deep Psych again. Now, a important part of this we missed before completing the last mission, or rather the story mission that brought us to this was doing Deep Psych. Now we do it again to win the game. Oops. So deep psych. Hmm. Okay, so we're looking at today's password is okay. So it's July twelfth. Password to be membrane. Out. already be on deep psych hmm okay it is set to it and boom and here it is the last cutscene
It's like fucking Battlecast Skarner over there. We have a uh, pissed off whatever this thing is, but you know, it's an assassin. Oops, that was what text went by fast. So we got 50 million. Nice. 25 from this and 25 from the bonus, and we got a little extra from, from the unfortunate stuff we had to skip because of the game bugging up. Foreshadowing in the plot hook. <laughs> Here, just replays some of the some of the cutscenes you see earlier on in the game. And there it is. Game over. So that was Gateway 1, the first one in the duology. Gateway 2 homework will follow at a later time. <laughs>